it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to be me. It's fun to mess with strangers. It's so much fun. I have so much fun messing with strangers, but I love messing with my friends. And I have this one friend who's great to mess with. His name's Sal Volcano. Oh, the best. Best in the world. I love him. He's my brother. He's the best. He's very easy to mess with, though. He's the perfect, he's the perfect mix of neurotic and gullible. It just works for me. I could probably stand up here for about nine and a half hours and tell you stories how I basically ruined this man's life. I'll tell you one of my favorites. This happened in Cincinnati, Ohio, okay? This is about nine years ago when we just started touring, okay? And we're playing this little comedy club that's being run by a gentleman who is like clearly on the lamb from the mafia. Little Italian dude, slick back hair, okay? They had to add a late show. So he calls us into his back office. He goes, boys, we got some time to kill here. What do you fellas want to do? What's up here? Well, you guys want some massages? <laughs> from you? He goes, no, Joe, what are you, crazy? No, don't be ridiculous, no. I got some people, I call them, they come to your hotel room and they'll rub you, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sal goes, oh no, no thank you. I don't know where these people's hands have been. <laughs> what do you think is happening at these massages? Sal, they're not jamming their fingers in your mouth. <laughs> Unless you pay extra, right, my man? Yeah, he knows. All right, Sal, don't worry. I'll go first, and uh, I will text you my Yelp review and let you know how it is. <laughs> he says, okay, all right? So I'm going to my hotel room, and the woman who shows up is exactly the woman you are picturing when I say someone who will come to your hotel room to rub you. <laughs> the woman walks in with the table, right? Not a massage table, no. It's a straight-up, six-foot white, fold-in-half Costco number, <laughs> you know? Like the kids' table at Christmas, right? She opens the legs, pops them, and locks them. Goes into a bag to take out. She doesn't have the uh, face cradle, you know, the little toilet bowl seat for your face. She has a travel neck pillow that says American Airlines on it. She puts it on the table and has the nerve to go, okay, sir, I think we are ready. Please make yourself comfortable. I'm looking at this flat surface and my capital D-shaped body. <laughs> And I land and I start teeter totter and seesawing on it like the scales of justice. <laughs> she hits play on the iPod, it starts playing some weird ass low carnival music. Like straight up, like that. And then she covers me in a linen tablecloth. <laughs> like we're going on a picnic. I'm sitting there looking at the pieces of this puzzle and trying to solve the mystery like I'm Dora the Explorer. And I was like, you know what? This woman was probably at like a kid's birthday party with the table and everything, right? Her cell phone rang. It was the shady guy from the comedy club. And he was like, Bianca, you got to do me a favor. How good are you at rubbing people? Good. Get over to the Kimpton. Rub these guys to the best of your abilities. And she packed up. She was like, sure, back, pack, back, pack. And she went over. There I am, Kimpton, Cincinnati, room 612, getting rubbed by a stranger. The iPod dies dead. Now it's dead quiet in the room, okay? And this is odd even for me, and y'all know I've seen some shit. A couple minutes go by, she starts doing this. <coughs> and that's when I realize what she's trying to do is cover up the sound of the farts coming out her butthole, y'all. Yeah, yeah. The iPod's dead, but the ass pod is on shuffle, and it's playing all the bangers of the 80s, 90s, and today. But the problem is her volume and frequency are completely off, so I'm just getting crop dusted in a cacophony of fart sounds and throat clearings. I paid extra. This goes on for 42 minutes, okay? It was a good deep tissue. I held my breath and wrote it out. The little egg timer goes off, ding! She leans in, she goes, okay, sir, that means we are finished. How did you like your massage? And I pop up at the little travel pillow. Fantastic, I say. And then I rip the loudest fart I can. And then go, uh -huh. So let her know, we're playing chess, not checkers, lady, okay? You don't mess with me, I'm the professional. I jump up off the table, she starts cleaning up, I grab my cell phone, text my boy Sal. Sal, best massage ever, buddy. Five stars, Jesus Christ hands emojis. And then I go back to the little comedy club and I go in the green room and I wait for my boy Sal to show up. 
And oh, does he show up, friends. He kicks that door open like he's a SWAT team leader. He's like, you never believe what the fuck just happened to me over at the hotel. <laughs> Go ahead, guess. I don't want to let him know that I know the deal. So I'm straight up poker face, Lady Gaga. Pray tell, what happened, friend? And he goes, well, the 45 minute massage turned into a 25 minute massage because halfway through she had to stop and she took a shit in my bathroom. I say nothing for four years. 1,362 days later, we're back in Cincinnati. We're playing the theater there. We drive by the little comedy club. Sal goes, hey, that was the place with the shit masseuse. We all share a giggle. And I go, oh yeah, the one that fought it. He goes, what? I go, what? <laughs> what, 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 what? He goes, what do you know, Joseph? I'm pinched, I gotta come clean. I go, oh, buddy. She was farting on me for 45. He goes, oh, you gave her five stars. There were five star farts, pal. <laughs>